Russia has announced that it will remain a part of the International Space Station until 2028. NASA has announced that SpaceX is set to launch its next Starship rocket within the next few months. And the United States Space Force has created a Santa's naughty list. All this and more on today's Space Brief. Hello and welcome to The Undiscovered Country. I'm your host, Bryant A.M. Baker. Today I'll present the top five most important things happening in the world of space. Let's just jump into it. Number five. Russia has confirmed that it will remain a part of the International Space Station until 2028, extending its participation by four years. The announcement was made on April 19th by the head of Roscosmos, the Russian space agency, Dmitry Rogozin. The decision to stay on the ISS comes amid increasing tensions between Russia and the West. Russia's annexation of Crimea in 2014 led to the imposition of sanctions, including a ban on imports of certain technologies used in the space industry. Despite these restrictions, Russia continued to work with NASA and other space agencies to maintain the ISS, which has been in operation since 1998. The ISS is a joint project of five space agencies, including NASA, Roscosmos, the European Space Agency, the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency. The space station is a scientific laboratory in orbit where astronauts conduct experiments in fields such as biology, physics, and astronomy. The ISS is also used to test technologies and procedures for future missions, including missions to Mars. Russia's continued part participation in the ISS is crucial for the success of the space station. Russian modules make up a significant portion of the ISS, and Russian rockets are used to transport crew and supplies to the station. With Russia's commitment to the ISS until 2028, there is a greater chance that the space station will remain operational beyond its current end date of 2024. Russia's decision to remain a part of the ISS is welcome news for the international space community. The ISS has been a symbol of international cooperation and scientific achievement for over two decades, and its continued operation will benefit researchers and space agencies around the world. Number four. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson has announced that he expects SpaceX to launch its next Starship rocket within the next few months. The announcement came during a recent press conference where Nelson discussed the future of NASA's partnership with SpaceX. The Starship is a next-generation rocket being developed by SpaceX to carry both crew and cargo to the Moon and Mars. The rocket is designed to be reusable with the goal of reducing the cost of space travel and enabling sustainable human exploration of space. The first prototype of the Starship, known as SN8, was launched in December of 2020, but the rocket exploded on landing. Since then, SpaceX has continued to work on developing and testing new versions of the Starship. The upcoming launch, which is expected to take place from SpaceX's facilities in Texas, will be a significant milestone in the development of the Starship. The rocket will be the first to use a new type of engine, known as the rocket... Er, as the Raptor vacuum engine, which is designed to provide more thrust and better efficiency in the vacuum of space. NASA has been working closely with SpaceX on the development of the Starship as part of the agency's broader efforts to enable sustainable human exploration of space. The partnership between NASA and SpaceX has already resulted in success several successful missions to the International Space Station and the upcoming launch of the Starship represents a major step forward in the development of new space technologies. The launch of the next Starship rocket is an exciting development in space, for space enthusiasts and represents a significant milestone uh, in the ongoing efforts to explore and inhabit space. With continued collaboration between NASA and SpaceX, there is no doubt that we will see even more impressive achievements in the years to come. Number three. NASA's Fluidics in Low Gravity Environments, or FLUTE, mission is set to launch to the International Space Station in the coming months. 
The mission aims to investigate how fluids behave in microgravity with the goal of improving our understanding of fundamental fluid physics and developing new technologies for space exploration. Fluids may play a crucial role in many aspects of spaceflight, uh, including from fuel and coolant systems to life support systems for astronauts. However, the behavior of fluids in microgravity is not well understood, and current models are often based on assumptions that do not hold up in real-world conditions. The FLUT mission will use a series of experiments to study the behavior of fluids in microgravity. These experiments will these experiments will be conducted using a special instrument called the Fluids and Combustion Facility, or FCF, which is installed in the International Space Station. The FCF provides a controlled environment for studying fluid physics and allows researchers to observe and analyze the behavior of fluids in real time. The fluid mission is part of NASA's broader efforts to improve our understanding of spaceflight and develop new technologies for exploring space. By studying the behavior of fluids in microgravity, NASA hopes to develop more efficient and reliable fluid systems for use in space vehicles and habitats. The FLUT mission is an exciting development for space enthusiasts as well as for researchers. With continued efforts to study the physics of spaceflight and develop new technologies for exploring space, we're sure to see even more impressive achievements in the years to come. Number two. The United States Space Force has announced that it will be implementing new s systems to hold contractors accountable for underperformance. The system, informally known as Santa's Naughty List, will rank contractors based on their performance and assign consequences for those who fall short. This move comes as part of the U.S. Space Force's efforts to improve efficiency and effectiveness in its operations. As a branch of the U.S. military dedicated solely to space operations, the USSF relies heavily on contractors for various services and technologies. However, in recent years, there have been concerns about some contractors failing to meet expectations and causing delays in cost overruns. Under the new system, contractors will be evaluated based on a set of performance metrics and ranked accordingly. Those who fall below a certain threshold will be placed on the naughty list and may face consequences such as reduced future business opportunities or loss of contracts. The U.S. Space Force hopes that the implementation of this system will encourage contractors to prioritize quality and efficiency in their work, ultimately leading to better outcomes for the organization as a whole. The move has been met with some criticism and with some industry experts expressing concerns about potential unfairness and lack of transparency in the evaluation process. The implementation of this Santa's naughty list is an interesting development in the world of space con con contracting and could have significant implications for how contractors are held accountable in the future. As the U.S. Space Force continues to evolve and grow, it will be interesting to see how this system is received and how it affects the organization's operations. Number one. China has announced plans to establish an organization to coordinate international efforts for building a moon base. The organization, which will be called the International Lunar Research Station Cooperation Organization, or ILRSCO, aims to promote cooperation and facilitate communication among participating countries. China has been increasingly active in lunar exploration in recent years, with its Chang'e program successfully landing multiple spacecraft on the moon and collecting samples. The country has also expressed interest in building a permanent base on the lunar surface, which could serve as a hub for scientific research and potential future missions to Mars and beyond. The ILRSCO will be open to all countries that wish to participate in lunar exploration and will facil facilitate collaboration on topics such as lunar science, engineering, and operations. It is unclear at this time which countries will join the organization or how it will be structured. But the move by China to establish an international organization for lunar exploration is significant as it shows the country's commitment to working with other nations on space exploration. It also highlights the growing interest in the moon as a potential site for long-term human presence and scientific research. 
However, some experts have raised concerns about the geopolitical implications of China's expanding presence in space. As the country's space program continues to grow and expand, it could lead to increased competition with other space powers, such as the United States and Russia. The establishment of this ILRSCO is an interesting development in the field of lunar exploration and could have significant implications for the future of space exploration and international cooperation in this area. Thank you for joining me. Links to all the stories are in the description. Keep ahead of all the most important things happening in the world of space by watching the other recent episodes I put together for you. I would love to hear your thoughts on everything I talked about here today. Please consider giving this a, a like or a rating and subscribing and following this content. I'm honored to be a part of this community of citizens in this undiscovered country of ours, and I'll see you again next time.